adventurer, one who is fearless, having taken shelter at the lotus feet of Lord Shri Krishna. It is this fearlessness and complete surrender to his Gurudev, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada, sent out to America in 1965 to establish the International Society of Krishna Consciousness. At the age of 69, he traveled the world 14 times, established more than 100 temples of Lord Shri Krishna, and spread the process of Bhakti Yoga through chanting the glorious Mahamantra. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakura instructed Srila Prabhupada, Your English is perfect. You are a poet and a preacher. You play Mridanga and you can do everything. You are qualified to preach this mission in the West. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakura sent his best warrior to ensure Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's declaration not to go in vain. In every town and village, the chanting of my name will be heard. Today, one can hear the sweet melody of Harinama Sankirtan being chanted in streets, roads and highways in over 850 temples, eco-villages and centers. what he preached and made sure he prioritized his own chanting to be the ideal role model for aspiring devotees. His complete faith and surrender to the Maha Mantra empowered him to face the darkened skylines of Boston's shores, survive the strenuous journey across the Atlantic Ocean in the cargo ship of Jaladuta.
Krishna and Rama. Krishna means all attractive. Rama means spiritual enjoyment. Hare is the vocative case of addressing Lord Hari. He who grants liberation but also personifies Srimati Radha Rani. Thus, people who chant the Hare Krishna Mahamantra beg, Hey Srimati Radha Rani, please engage me in the service of Sri Krishna. In this age of quarrel and hypocrisy, the only means of deliverance is the chanting of the holy names of the Lord. There is no other way, there is no other way, there is no other way. All glories to Jagat Guru Sri Prabhupada for re-gifting the only means of deliverance for us in this age of Kali Yuga. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai!